This is what? Inked. Scene one A, take one. So I have this one here that's on my right shoulder. And it's like a lotus flower thing. It's actually a cover up. So I have two cover ups, um, but I'm not gonna go into like what was under there cause you know, trauma. But <laughs> I can go over like why I chose what I chose on top. So this lotus flower here, like I really liked it because I saw that it had like lace incorporated into it. And so I really like lace and I wanted something cute right there and I wanted something beautiful to cover that up. Um, I also read about the lotus flower like being, you know, uh, like it has a very powerful meaning behind it, like peaceful. So that's why I got that too there. This other one here is my next biggest tattoo. And it's also a cover up. Like I said, um, brass knuckles, heart brass knuckles, I guess you can see like the hearts in there where you would put your fingers in there. And it says in uh, old English kind of letters, it says, I fight for mine. Like I fight for what's mine, like my family for instance. Um, I have these two right here on my wrist and this is like such a funny story. So like right here, this one that like, kind of looks like a four and sometimes people will be like, why do you have a four right there? But um, it's supposed to signify power or strength in Chinese. It's a Chinese symbol. I thought it was Japanese. Or I think it's Chinese. Oh. Yeah. And then, cause that's what I looked it up. Like, I, mind you, I looked these up on Google. Like, I was like, Chinese symbol for this, for that, right? So this one I had looked up for like strength, right? Um, and then this one here said, Google said, that it meant forever. So I was gonna put like strength forever, you know? Something like that, right? And one time, like we're at Panda, you know that um, restaurant Panda Express? Yeah. You know how some of their cups have like the symbols on there? Well, Joe, my husband, noticed the symbol on the cup and he's like, hey, that looks like your tattoo. And I looked at it and I was like, that is literally my tattoo. Like underneath of it, underneath that um, symbol, it says like what it means in English and it said water. <laughs> so this whole time, this tattoo has meant water and not forever. So I have strength water on my wrist now. This here was actually my very first tattoo. And this is on the inside of my right wrist. Um, I would, turned 18 and I wanted to go do something spontaneous. I don't know why. And I knew this guy that I worked with that, you know, did tattoos, you know, at home. So this is actually like the bold around it, like is actually a second tattoo where another guy went over it. So this is not the way that the first tattoo looked. It actually looked like a nicer star than it does right there. <laughs> I don't know, like the guy, so we were at a house party and this other guy was my friend, like from high school. And he has his, had his tattoo gun there or whatever. He was doing tattoos on this other person, right? And he told me, he's like, I could go over that for you. Like, I guess, cause he saw that it was fading but I didn't know that it was gonna turn out looking like that. Did, so. did he charge you? No. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine if it's bad. <laughs> it's fine that it's bad because I didn't pay for it. But this one here is my favorite mm -hmm. tattoo. Wow. Um, and those of you who know, know like that it's related to Stranger Things, and y'all are the real ones, if y'all know that it's related to Stranger Things. Um, it's uh, Eleven from that show, Stranger Things. She has a tattoo like that on her. Um, although I think it's in her left, inside her left forearm. Um, I had to get it here because I already had something here, of course. So I settled for getting it on this side. But as soon as I finished watching season one, like I had to go get it. I just had to. and. I went, and went, went to go get it. <laughs> um, this one is like very, very, very like emotional for me. Um, and it, it doesn't look like much, right? Like it was 
actually supposed to be like this kind of really nice writing. Um, I don't even know the name of the font, but I know that it was the same kind of font that Megan Fox had on the tattoo that she has on her ribs right here. So I went and looked it up. At that time, I knew what it was, and um, I printed it out. This was for my cousin. Um, my cousin Benji, who had been tattooing like for years, since he was like 16 maybe, because he did it while he was in prison. So he used to do like Joe has tats on everybody there. That was his thing, right? Then he came out of prison. Um, we had been in prison for years and he came out and then, you know, we would pay him, you know, to do tattoos on us. And so I had given him this font and I, I think it was like not his, you know, thing to do that kind of font. So it ended up coming out looking like this and it also faded. So it wasn't like, as good as it should be, but I wanted him to put, you don't always get what you want. And I mean, it kind of goes with it now that the fact that it's messed up because that, that's something that I got that I, I mean, that's something that I didn't get that I wanted, you know, I wanted it to look a different way. I don't know, I was just like in a stage in life where I'm like, probably like I was like depressed. I used to drink a lot and I used to be, like really down about a lot of things. Um, I'm down about a lot of things now, but I know how to organize it and do something about it. Back then, I really didn't. And I would just, I guess, suffer or whatever. Um, but the reason why I say it's so emotional to me is because my, my cousin Benji, he passed away just recently um, due to COVID. He passed away in July and um, so now, like, I will always have something of him, you know? He actually did quite a bit of my tattoos. He did this one, he did these two right here on my wrist, and then he did this one right here. And this one is just my maiden last name. So this is a, what do you call it? Echelon, that's what it's called. And Jarrett Leto from 30 Seconds to Mars, which is like one of my favorite bands. One of, uh, you know, Joe and I, started dating and that was like one of the things that we had in common that we love that band. Um, so Jared Leto has one right here and one right here. But since I already had something right here, I, I just got it right here. And there's like photos of him, like, you know, holding them both up like that and he has them. I have um, zodiac signs. Like this one is a Leo for my zodiac sign. And then this one, right here is a Libra sign, and that's what sign Joe is. I don't have anything on my back because I'm like such a wimp to get something on my back. I heard that it hurts because of like the nerves and stuff back there, yeah. especially like on your actual like um, spinal cord. I heard that that hurts the most. I have the ones behind my ears. Like I said, I have one, um, I'm not sure if it's on the right or the left, but on behind one of my ears, I have like this symbol, this tribal looking symbol that means sister. And my cousin, my cousin Myra, we both got it like in the same place just to mean like sisters. Mm -hmm. And then also me, her and my other cousin Erica have a trifecta. I'm not sure if you know what, it, what that is, but it's um, they show it on that show Charmed, but not the new Charmed, the old Charmed, the original one. It's like the little Trinity symbol, like kind of Celtic. So it's called a trifecta and it means like three in one or whatever. So the three of us got it and we, I have that on my ankle. Um, then on the other side of my ear, I have my grandfather's date of birth, like his um, date of birth and the day that he died. So. That one's also special meaning to me. That one also, my cousin Benji did it on me. Forgot to mention that. And it's faded now. Like you probably can't even see the, the, the numbers, right? This one is my oldest daughter, Serenity, her name in Hebrew, which I don't really know if that's right because I also use Google for that one. <laughs> Why Hebrew? I just like the way that it looks. The writing, the writing looks really cute. And it was supposed to be like less thick than this. The guy that did it, I don't think he had ever done one like that. And he did it thicker. 
than we should have. So, but um, no, the, the ones that I caught like that are the most painful are right here, like inside your wrist and on top of your wrist because where you don't have as much skin and the bone is like right there, that hurts, it really hurts. Like sometimes it feels like you can feel it like in the bone and you're like, oh my God. So like who has the best set of tattoos celebrity-wise? Oh crap. I know Ariana Grande has like some saying, some quote, some like Alice in Wonderland quote or something on her back. In case I don't see ya. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I mean, I guess like Travis Barker has some really sick tattoos. There's this one chick who I used to follow, or I think I still follow her. There's this one girl that I follow on Instagram. I found her on Instagram. Her name is Madzilla, and she's like an influencer, you know, that has a lot of tattoos, and her tattoos are pretty awesome. She has like this big snake looking thing on, on the back. Um, so any, any girl that has like badass tattoos like that, like I'm just like, like wow, like they wow me because they can take all that pain. Like cause some of that shit hurts for real. So for someone who's, who's gonna get their very first tattoo, I would say make it something small just in case you ever want to cover it up. Um, especially if you're like at a young age. If you're like 16, 18, around that age, you may not want that tattoo or later in life. So I would suggest to go with something small the first time. Also like pain-wise, you'll get to like gauge how, how you are with the pain. Um, I wish that I could have more tattoos. I mean, I really wish that I could have um, as many as I wanted and I wouldn't be judged by society or, you know, cause it's so hard right now as an actor in the industry, like when you're starting out, a lot of people, you know, don't want to use you if you have a lot of tattoos, a lot of visible tattoos, because they won't, they won't put in the work to cover it up with makeup, like if it's too much. They would only do that if you were like lead in a big production, and that's, you know, that's if they even let you get beyond the audition process. I would definitely get something Harry Potter, Harry Potter, like, um, Harry Potter themed. I would get something Harry in that in that category. Um, I'm not sure what I would get, but I love Harry Potter. I'd probably get like the um, Deathly Hollow symbol somewhere. That's yeah, maybe get it on my neck. Right get it on your neck. I'm a hardcore Harry Potter fan. Uh, you know, you're gonna get anything like across the chest. Mm, you know what? I kind of like the little thing where the girls get underneath their boobs right here. You know? Oh, like Rihanna? Yeah, that she has that god, goddess. Osiris. Yeah. Osiris tattoo. But I like the like other ones that are kind of like designed like chandeliers and stuff like that. But I think I, I would be too much of a wimp to get that because it, I heard on the ribs, it hurts a lot too, so.